Defense against a suit by uh, the Ethics and Anti Corruption Commission (EACC) seeking to have him and his four children forfeit assets worth shilling 73, 73 million. Mr. Obado said the allegations of fraud, abuse of office, and money laundering are mere rumors that cannot be proven. If at all my money was embezzled, fraudulently and illegally obtained from the county government of Migori as alleged, then I was not involved and had no knowledge of such arrangement. I neither took part nor benefited from any such scheme. That is Obado in, uh, as he tried to say that whatever EACC is uh, uh, blaming him for he's not uh, responsible. However, a quote unquote here, although the EACC claimed uh, Obado acquired the properties through his children who are registered as owners, the governor stated that his children are old enough to defend themselves on how they acquired the properties without involving him. Well, what does EACC want for Obado? EACC wants Obado, his children Evelyn Othiambu, Dan Achola, Scarlett Susan, Jerry Zachary, as well as Koaga and his 13 companies to forfeit the assets valued at shillings 73 million allegedly purchased using funds embezzled from the county government. Well, this is a, a story that we'll see happening in many other counties. Mm -hmm. I feel that uh, Obado's case is just one of the many that will crop up. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure as the sitting governors go to seek for second terms, especially those that are seeking second terms, ESEC will be on their neck. Mm -hmm. That I'm 100% sure. And I, the, my only prayer is that it does not be used uh, politically. Uh -huh. But there be justice. Yes, uh, there, there is a tendency for justice to be clouded by politics, especially when our leaders are involved. And I do hope that this time that does not happen and justice prevails. Now, earlier on we were talking about the promises that are being made by the presidential candidates. Mm -hmm. And here is one. I'll grow the economy by 10%, says Raila as he quotes the coast. Uh, he continues to say, I will steer the country to an economic recovery trajectory with an initial growth of at least 10%, he told his supporters in Voi and Taita Taveta towns. He added that he had an elaborate plan to ensure the welfare and comfort of citizens were guaranteed. In his government, the state will support vulnerable groups such as widows, single mothers, the elderly, the elderly students, and the youth. And then he continues to say... Um, all right, this is, this is the bit that I found most interesting. These are programs aimed at ending extreme poverty in Kenya. We have identified several potential sources of money to fund the welfare programs. Key among them is running the corruption networks out of business. Now, when they say this, I ask myself uh, one question. What has the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission been doing? if these networks are still running, the corruption, so-called corruption networks are still running, and they are consuming so much money from the country that that money can be used to fund welfare programs, and these welfare programs will cater for widows, single mothers, the elderly, students, and the youth, which is basically just about every other segment of the Kenyan society. Well, uh, that's it. That's politics. They will promise. And uh, it's interesting how sitting MPs goes to Larry's or sitting uh, politicians go to Larry's and ask uh, the, about the government. Mm -hmm. I, I always wonder, aren't you the you people are in government? So why are you calling out to government? Which government are you calling up to? Uh -huh. I, Indeed. It, it's something I still find difficult to understand, and until the day I understand that, then I'll know we are serious. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, I do hope that day finally dawns on us, uh, and I hope it, it happens soon. Mm -hmm. I'm on to the cartoon, the standard, niche, uh, the standard newspaper cartoon, mm -hmm. and uh, it's in two sets. We have uh, a set of three men there. One who looks like a color singer because of what he's wearing, the headscarf. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is a person speaking whom we can't see. 
uh, seated, I don't know whether it's next to the Kalasinga or some, uh, somewhere, mm -hmm. and says, we can help you win an election. And there is another gentleman seated here. We can't see his face. We can't see anything. But he says, we can help you lose an election. <laughs> and uh, a voice there, uh, this voice being directed to a gentleman whom uh, we could possibly know, says, we can help you rig an, e an election. Wow. And then below them is the Kalasinga and now the gentleman on a seat written deep state. Uh, oh, he was addressing to these two. Yeah, he was addressing the two. It's a round table here. So he says, we can also help you overturn an election. So really, the choice is yours. Oh, I now know the guy, in, uh, the, the person <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling Kalasinga is also familiar to, uh -huh. uh, to, to, to us. So yes, uh, I don't know what Deep State is, <laughs> but Deep State says, we can help you win an election, we can help you lose an election, and we can help you rig an election. Mm -hmm. And we can and also to help both, you overturn an election. And to both, we can also help you overturn an election. So really, the it choice is. is yours. The choice is yours indeed. Mm -hmm. uh, and that has brought us to the end of the newspaper review to this morning. But I will be coming back in a short while with my guest. And we will be looking at uh, Sagana 3 and a bit of Kiambu politics. And we'll also try to push in uh, a bit of the national politics if time allows us. Uh, Wairi Mumuga will be coming up after that with uh, Let's Talk on a very interesting conversation today mm -hmm. that even I will have to sit in uh, yes. for. Well, yes. behind the camera, of course. <laughs> Career <laughs> choice and stigma. So be uh -huh. on the lookout. I'll be back. This is the morning due show here at Dysac TV. See you in a while. Je, ungependa kuwa shupavu katika operesheni za mashine kubwa ama heavy machineries? Njo Kilimambogo Highways Building and Technology, shule iliyotambulika viwandani, kumunchini na nje ya Kenya. Njo usome courses kama plant operator and driving, instructors training, stone cutting, borehole drilling training na nyinginezo. Tuma application kupitia simu online ama utambile Thika Garissa Road. Goga stage, Kilimambogo Highways Building and Technology. Tinga Tinga is the team. You are watching Dysak TV, the cradle of goodness. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Every morning, as you set out for the day, we are right there with you. We bring you a review of your dailies as well as keeping you in touch with your current affairs. We discuss issues affecting us as well as entertain you as you set out for your day. So join me, Kelvin Mungai. And I, Wendy Mumuko. Every weekday from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Only on the Morning Dew Show. Here at Dysak TV, the cradle of goodness. Uh, do you believe in love at first sight? Two different people, two different lives. Jack, a hero pilot. He has everything he has ever wanted. On the other hand, Olivia is a teacher, kind, loving, but nothing in time. Two strangers cross paths, and known to them, their lives are just about to change. He's looking for his dad. No, oh, he came to the wrong place. Hey Jack! Wake up! Jack is now faced with the challenge of raising a troublesome son. Compromises need to be made. 
Get on board. Let's travel and unravel this lovely street. Don't miss old boys Monday to Thursday from 8 to 9 p.m. Only on Dyson TV. The Credo. Hivyo ndivyo mambo yalivyokuwa. Mama alipogundua bintie anajifunza plant machinery operation. Lakini kwa sasa amejawa na tabasamu. Hey. Mwanzoni msichana wetu alipotuambia nataka kusoma mambo na matinga tinga. But the three city today we know better. Sure. County to County Plant Machinery and Driving School. Mabingo katika ufundishaji wa kuendesha magari na matinga tinga ya aina yote. Tumefunza kwa miaka mingi. Tumefunza watu wengi. Wengine wameajiriwa na wengine wamejiajiri. Utajijenga na tujenge taifa letu. Tupigie simu kupitia nambari ulizopewa au tutembelee Thika along Garissa Road. County to County Plant Machinery and Driving School. The Kenyan Way for Kenyans. Royal County College of Technology. We offer the following courses: Business Management, Accounting Packages, Social Work, Community Development, Secretarial Studies, ICT, ICDL, Computer Studies, among others. Visit our website at www.royalcountycollegeoftechnology.co.ke. Call us on 07 99-256-357 or 07-33-756-060 Email us via Royal County College of Technology at gmail.com Registration is ongoing. Train with the best to become the best. Royal County College of Technology Modeling Excellence So welcome to Junction View Estate. This is a project that is 100 meters off Moya Makutano Road. And the project is ideal for commercial as you can see. It is a few meters from uh, Makutano town. The plots have already title deeds. Again, the red soil is red soil. The size is 50 by 100. And the plots are only going, get this, they are only going for 1.2 million shillings. And I've just told you, the plots have already title deeds. So all you need is to come see, identify your plot, and then you proceed and transfer the title into your team. When you talk of deposit, come with as little as 50,000 Kenya shillings. You can make a deposit and acquire and own a plot with us. Thank you so much. You can also reach us on this number, 0700-048-048. You can also get to our office, Makutano office, just next to Fortune Circle. We also have another office at Keno Town. That's just adjusted opposite KCB as you head to Moranga Town. That's a few meters from County Supermarket as you head to Moranga. At Wicred Property Company Limited, we partner with you in actualizing your dreams of owning a plot or a property for a better future. Thank you and welcome. Redlam ni dawa bora zaidi ya kuwa kunguni ina uwezo wa kuwa viwango vyote kutoka mayai hadi kunguni aliyekoma haina harufu wala mwasho na inaweza kutumika mahali popote Bedlam imedhinishwa na shirika la afya duniani WHO ipate kwa Agrovet karibu nawe kwa maelezo zaidi tumia nambari zifuatazo angamiza kunguni na Bedlam kutoka Kenagro This is Cascade Institute of Hospitality, an institute with a difference, teaching with a purpose to produce young men and women of distinction. We offer certificate and diploma qualifications in hospitality management and information technology. Our school is accredited by the Technical and Vocational Education and Training Authority, the TVETA. We are located at Cascades Plaza, Karatina Road, right next to Thika Fire Station. Talk to us today on 0703 777 
788 that's 0703777888 cascade institute of hospitality an oasis of excellence january intake is ongoing do you desire to turn your house into a home at Pinto Furnishings, we offer exquisite interior design solutions. Contact us for curtains, shears and curtain boards, wall stickers, wallpapers and wall hangings, beddings, mats, lights, live and artificial decorative plants and many more. We also offer interior design classes at affordable prices. For more information, call 0710-606312, 0710-606312. Choose elegance, choose Pinto. Je, ungependa kuwa shupavu katika operesheni za mashine kubwa ama heavy machineries? Njo Kilimambogo Highways Building and Technology, shule iliyotambulika viwandani, kumunchini na nje ya Kenya. Njo usome courses kama plant operator and driving, instructors training, stone cutting, borehole drilling training na nyinginezo. Tuma application kupitia simu online ama utatembele Thika Garissa Road. Goga Stage, Kilimambogo Highways Building and Technology. Tinga Tinga is the team. You are watching Dysak TV, La Credo of Goodness. Hii kazi ni ya wanaume. Tuende nyumbani. Hapana mama, mimi nataka kujua kuendesha. Kweli? Nataka kujua kweli. Ah, wewe wachana na kasheri. Sasa unaweza kasheri nini? Nakwambia makosa hii kazi ni ya wanaume. Wachana na kasheri. Kasheri soma. Ni nini huwa wewe hapa? Hapa hata kazi za wanaume ni kama za wanawake. Hivyo ndivyo mambo yalivyokuwa. Mama alipogundua bintie anajifunza plant machinery operation. Lakini kwa sasa amejawa na tabasamu. Hey. Mwanzoni msichana wetu alipotuambia nataka kusoma mambo na matinga tinga. Hai. But the three city today we know better. Sure. County to County Plant Machinery and Driving School. Mabingo katika ufundishaji wa kuendesha magari na matinga tinga ya aina yote. Tumefunza kwa miaka mingi. Tumefunza watu wengi. Wengine wameajiriwa na wengine wamejiajiri. Utajijenga na tujenge taifa letu. Tupigie simu kupitia nambari ulizopewa au tutembele thika along Garissa Road. County to County Plant Machinery and Driving School. The Kenyan way for Kenyans. Important information, worry no more. Here at the Dysart News Desk, we bring you up to speed with authoritative, unbiased, and factual news as it happens. Our team goes into the heart of the story and brings it to you with professionalism, credibility, balance, and realness. I am Boni Gaidori, and this is the Dysart News Desk. I am Wanji Konjoroge and this is the Dysak News Desk. I am Judy Chalo and this is the Dysak News Desk. I am Halima Omar and this is the Dysak News Desk. I am Wanjima Mugo and this is the Dysak News Desk. Mtazamaji, huu ni ukurasa mpya. Wahenga walinena, mbiu ya mgambo ikilia. Kuna jambo. Kweli? Kuna jambo. Kwa habari kemkem na za kuaminika. Kwa matukio mbali mbali hapa nchini. Ulimwenguni na za sporti pia. Ungana nami Edmond. Mwadimi. Pamoja nami Faith Nzai. Nami Joseph Ngeti. Huu ni mwanzo mpya. Kumbuka, Jimbi atawika Jimbi. Awikapo Atawika. Jimbi atawika Jimbi. Awikapo atawika. Jimbi atawika Jimbi. 
Awi Kapo, Ademika. Hello, good people. I am Pauline Kamau. I have an eye and an ear for talent. I come to your hood and sniff out those talents, as raw as it may be. So come on, Kona Talanta. And the layer with Visha, Baka Mimu Wenyewe, Nise. So, Nkipawaro. Looking to unwind after a long day? Let's unwind together on Recap as we interact with fun guests. Discuss trending stories. How do you explain to your wife that babe nilikuwa nimeenda kazi nikarudi kama nimepigwa nguvu and reveal peculiar memes? I'm not a thief. I don't support theft. Wacha tuvunje mifupa kama bado meno iko Shake shake hey shake shake hey shake shake hey shake shake viuno viuno nakukaribisha mpenzi mtazamaji hadi ndani ya shake shake kipindi cha muziki wa rumba ndani ya Dance TV the cradle of goodness na mimi mama Afrika elombe kumwazi hey mambo yako sawa na tunakuletea rumba tutakuwa tunakuletea rumba asili rumba ya injili tutakuwa tunakuchezea sukus tutakuchezea mutwas pia cha cho mtazamaji eh tutakuletea muziki mpya kutoka Kongo kwa sababu hii ni sheke sheke ndani ya Dance TV the cradle Kila siku ya Jumapili saa 8 hadi saa 10 Welcome to the biggest, baddest, newest show gracing your screens. I'm Justin, but you can call me Justo. My name is DJ Kis Kenya. I am Miss Nara, and this is the D Corner. Every Monday to Friday from 5 to 7 p.m., get ready to experience a new kind of programming. We bring you an action-packed, rib-cracking show. We keep you up to date with all your local and international celebrities on Catch Up. Sit back and relax as DJ DJ Case Kenya plays all your favorite hits from across the globe. We care about your well-being, so we'll discuss all matters lifestyle, from nutrition to health and fitness, from business to education. There is something for everyone. Get to know more about your favorite celebrities as we talk to them one on one. Join us on Real Talk where we tackle real issues facing the youth with lots of laughs along the way. Only on Dissect TV, the cradle of goodness. You've got to love it. Culture constructs a sense of who we are as a society, as an individual, or as a nation. Where else? Art influences society by changing opinions, instilling values, and translating experience across time and space. Art transforms the world. Join me, Boni Gaidori, as I bring to you the craft in art and culture. Only at Dysak TV, the credo of God. We value your feedback and welcome any comment, query or complaint regarding our programs. Get in touch with us on 0724-121-812 or email complaints at dysactv.com. You are watching Dysak TV. La Cradle of Goodness.
Did you know that there is a natural site on Earth where carbonate mineral left by spring waters made beautiful thermal springs? Pamukale is a natural site in Denzili province in southwestern Turkey. The name Pamukale means cotton castle in Turkish and it came to be when the ancient Greek city of Hierapolis was built on top of travertine formation. The formation, which was 2,700 meters long and 600 meters wide, has thermal springs made of snow white limestone that was shaped long time ago. Ripping slowly down the mountainside, mineral rich waters collect in and cascade down the mineral terraces into pools below. Legends has it that the formation has solidified cotton that giant left out to dry. Stay in the know with Dysart TV. Good morning and welcome back to the Morning Dew happening right here on Dysac TV. This is the hotspot segment. Now, um, unfortunately, uh, my guest has had a bit of an emergency that he has to work on. But no worries, I am on set with Wairimu Mogo. <laughs> <laughs> and this will be the first of two things. One... It is the first time that Wairimo joins me on Hotspot. And two, it is the first time we have a lady on Hotspot. So <laughs> you have quite um, a lot to live up to. Although I do believe that uh, you will be able to step in the shoes, you know, based on what I know about you. You are very, very capable. Uh, well, <laughs> I'm still celebrating being the first lady. <laughs> uh, you are the first one on Hotspot. Uh, well, uh, we'll be looking at some of the story uh, in depth, uh, the stories that are making uh, the headlines, uh, some of the political ones. And uh, before we get into that, let me remind you that you can watch us on uh, live on Facebook and on YouTube and on DiceActivity.com and on Signet at DiceActivity. You can leave us your feedback on Facebook and on YouTube and we will be sure to sample some of that feedback at the end of the segment. You can also reach out to us on 23595 or send us a WhatsApp message on the number on your screen. Now, um, Wairimo, yes. today is quite a big day. Sure it is one that has been, uh, there has been a lot of anticipation and preparation around and that is because uh, Sagana 3 is happening. Mm -hmm. So... Um, what do you think will be uh, the outcome of that meeting? Well, in my view, I feel like uh, this meeting could be a game changer mm -hmm. about Kenya politics. Mm -hmm. One, because there is that uh, whole anticipation from Mount Kenya region that uh, Uhuru will possibly tell us what happened between him and the deputy. Mm -hmm. And that could uh, slide in two ways, depending on the reason why uh, of the fallout mm -hmm. uh, mount kenya could choose to love him mm -hmm. or could choose to go against him uh, many other times Uhuru has come out and uh, when he talks in uh, his kikuyu mm -hmm. uh, there is that kind of bonding it happened during uh, bbi mm -hmm. when uh, he came and told people what wanyumba and wanyumba uh, and there was that kind of bonding but whether the same will happen after sagana 3 because you see that was different this is succession politics mm -hmm. that was pbi or well they they are relatable in some way but not in succession politics where some people feel like there is betrayal you're the same person who told us this person is a mad person you should not support Raila because he's A, B, C, D. Mm -hmm. So then you come and tell us that A, B, C, D, this person is good. This could have, uh, it's two way. It could leave him as the kingpin mm -hmm. and it could leave him as a leader who was not able to have a voice mm -hmm. in his community. Mm -hmm. yes. 
Well, um, I, I, I'm very, very interested to see the outcome of this meeting because, uh, like you said uh, earlier on, Mount Kenya is known for the throughout history the, for the duration of Kenyan politics. Mount Kenya moves as a block. So um, I, I am interested to see whether the president has so much sway over the mountain that he will be able to move the people from uh, supporting the deputy president to supporting his preferred candidate, which who is uh, Honorable Raila Odinga. Yeah, um, if that does happen, it will be monumental. Yeah. But then again, uh, there are a lot of people, especially looking on social media and talking to people who are on the ground, there are a lot of people who are siding with the deputy president because of one of two reasons. Mm -hmm. One, it is because um, they are still uh, stuck on the idea of uh, Zangu Kumi, Zake Kumi, mm -hmm. and they feel like this is a promise that must be kept at mm -hmm. all costs. Mm -hmm. And they also look at the deputy president as a person who walked with the son of the mountain and that is uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta mm -hmm. through the cases of ICC mm -hmm. uh, back in the days of the Hague and they remember the bromance that was there during the first term and most of them still uh, blame Honorable Raila Odinga for the breakup of that bromance mm -hmm. and so they are leaning more towards the deputy president than they are towards uh, Honorable Raila Odinga and two they feel like um, they, they, they are loyal to the deputy president. He has been, he has taken quite a few trips to the mountain um, over the past few years. And uh, this is believed to have swayed the people in his favor. Uh, but again, like I said, I, President Huru Kenyatta still has a lot of sway in uh, the Mount Kenya region. And we do. Well, personally, I do look forward to see if he will be able to deliver the mountain to Honorable Raila Odinga's side. Yes, and also, uh, they, uh, I feel like uh, Mount Kenya residents have a, a certain kind of fear where they do not want to be seen like people who can't be trusted. And I mm -hmm. think that is uh, majorly the, the big issue there. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, if we do not give it to Ruto, as promised by our kingpin, then we we'll look like people who can't be trusted by other regions. Because mm -hmm. we say this, we do this. It has happened in history, mm -hmm. in several instances, where they say this, and then uh, after they are given support, they shift. So if that happens again, then it will be ruled out like, hey, these people cannot be trusted. Mm -hmm. And that is something I feel like uh, Mount Kenya region wants to hold sort of in a cocoon, mm -hmm. to be like, yes, we are people who can keep word of what we say. So it's, a, it's, it, it, it's quite a tie there, and it's quite... Uh, it's it's a moment that I can't really be able to like fully describe, but I feel like... Uh, depending with the uh, guru speech today I, I feel maybe there will be a difference negative or positive mm -hmm. yes. yes um do you think that well as 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 of where we stand right now there are two people who are declaring themselves as the kingpins in the mountain. Mm -hmm. There is uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy. Mm -hmm. So who do you think <laughs> <laughs> actually holds that title? Well, none of them holds the title as per se. Because you see, king <laughs> kingship, mm -hmm. uh, community kingship is deep. Eh? Mm -hmm. It's something a bit deeper than just saying it in a larry. And it, 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 it comes with a lot of trust from your people. And apparently, who has, lo has kind of lost that grip? Not completely. Mm -hmm. uh, as you can see, after Jubilee Party was launched, there was kind of confusion. Because now people were like, wow, our house is back. Mm -hmm. So now where? Mm -hmm. So there is that confusion. <laughs> and uh, we can say they are the uh the kingpins because we have uh, the likes of uh, guys like Moses Kulia, we have uh, guys like Justin Muturi, mm -hmm. and many others who have the voice, uh, including TSP leader. What is his name? Kinjori. Mm -hmm. 
so who is also very vocal on matters Mount Kenya. Moses Kuri is also very vocal and Moses Kuria has a way of pulling crowd to him. Yes, he so, is very, very charismatic. Yes, so about kingship, <laughs> it's a wait and see game. Uh -huh. Yes. Well, uh, I'm not sure what to think about uh, who is the kingpin of Mount Kenya region because, uh, well, one, despite the region being able to vote as a block we are still somehow divided and i don't think we have had that um there has been that leader who comes and unites the mountain for the mountain to move as one in other aspects except uh maybe politically uh but uh i think the ruto has gained quite a lot of ground but then again the president has as described in the papers, the president does have a way of talking to the people and talking to their hearts and uh, that sort of always works in moving them towards himself. So, again, like you, I, I don't know. I don't know who is the kingpin, but... <laughs> well, this is the first time, by the way, such a situation has happened in Mount Kenya. Mm -hmm. There is no time ever in history that Mount Kenya was undecided. Until now, when they are sort of undecided. However, I feel that uh, it's just a matter of time. Mm -hmm. They could seem like they are not united. And it has happened before. But come uh, August... Mm -hmm. I am sure they will possibly speak in one voice. Mm -hmm. uh, however, there could be a split like what happens in Muya Nation, mm -hmm. where there is always a split in votes. And it could be the first thing that is happening mm -hmm. in Mount Kenya. And I know mo their prayer is that it does not happen. And uh, I'm sure they are hoping that there comes or there sprouts that one leader all those few leaders who can unite people like Mother Karua, um, the likes of Moses Kuria, Kyunjori, who can maybe come together and help Mwangi Wairia <laughs> come together, unite and help uh, the mountains speak in one voice. I mm -hmm. believe they will find a solution to that. They always do. Yes. yes. Um, now, if the Sagana 3 meeting goes as planned mm -hmm. and it works against uh, the deputy president, do you think if Kenya Kwanzaa selects a running mate from the Mount Kenya region that that will be able then to sway the people back to the Kenya Kwanzaa side? Well, in my opinion, uh, whatever will happen in Sagana 3 for either parties, mm -hmm. It will bring uh, re-strategizing of their political journey. Because mm -hmm. uh, assuming um, Uhuru speaks and uh, people from Mount Kenya buys his ideologies mm -hmm. and decide like, hey, we were lost ship and we are coming back home, then that means uh, Ruto has lost a big percentage of what he believed were his votes. Mm -hmm. So that would call for him to do a new strategy in his campaign because now it means that he has to convince uh, East, uh, um, um, he has to convince the other regions. He mm -hmm. has to convince the Kamba vote. He has to convince the Luya votes and every other region to join and give him votes. Mm -hmm. Well, that is difficult. So for Ruto and Kenya Kwanzaa team, it could uh, seemingly look like they have lost it. Mm -hmm. However, politics is always a comeback. Mm -hmm. I'm sure maybe they would strategize or try to switch to these ones mm -hmm. to join a team with them. Uh -huh. Again, in politics, nothing is a wonder. I'm seeing another handshake. <laughs> between Kenya Kwanza and uh, the one Kenya Alliance. And one Kenya Alliance. They have been friends. Uh, for uh -huh. all we know, Ruto and uh, ODM leader Raila Odinga, they know each other better than we know them. They have uh -huh. worked together. Ruto has worked so long uh, with ODM. So they know their flaws. They know their glory. They know each other better than anyone else. So them coming together 
it, it, will, it not will not be a surprise, surprise. Yes. yes and uh like like i said was it yesterday as we were reading the newspapers mm -hmm. there is something fishy going on because um it was stated that kalonzo also made made that statement honorable kalonzo musiaka made the statement that he walked into a hotel to have his breakfast and he saw raila odinga honorable raila odinga and honorable gideon moi and then he greeted them and <laughs> took his breakfast at another table. So uh, the question then was, was uh, Honorable Gideon Moy there with uh, Honorable Raila Odinga also a coincidence or was it planned? It's, it's basically uh, echoing the words that you're saying uh, and the words that have been said in the political arena. There are no long-term enemies and there are no friends. It's just uh, maybe allies. Uh, that are there to fulfill a certain goal. So we cannot rule out the possibility of uh, Honorable Kalonzo Musioka joining either side. He has been rubbishing both sides, saying that if he were to join one side, then Honorable Raila Odinga would have to be the one to support him instead of him supporting him again. Uh, and then he, he still rubbishes the other side and calls it uh, the side of corruption and he therefore cannot be able to negotiate with them because he said One Kenya Alliance is, uh, has the intention of forming an alliance with like-minded people. And uh, basically from where Kalonzo Musioka stands, uh, he, he, he would be leaning more towards um, Azimio than he does Kenya Kwanzaa but it is undetermined it is still something that we are yet to see if he will keep on the road that he is on that he is uh, going for the presidency on his own or if he will join an alliance and whichever one he joins is um it's still we, it's still something that we're yet to see but it will form for some very interesting politics if it does happen well Kalonzo is known uh for skipping places mm -hmm. So my advice to him <laughs> would be for him to go up to the end. That would do him a lot of more good. Uh -huh. However, depending on uh, how politics sway or whatever side politics sway, mm -hmm. then uh, let him join whatever side he feels aligns with his ideologies. Mm -hmm. Let him go where he feels like... Uh, it's, it will work for him, mm -hmm. and then after that, I know whatever side he goes, then the other party will re-strategize to try and uh, woo more votes for him. Mm -hmm. But Kenyan politics, as, I, as I've always told you during the list of review, it is very interesting. And uh, with new people coming, yesterday there was launching of a new party, the Green yes, Party. the so Green Party. It too they have their presidential candidates so and their manifesto and their manifesto so kenyans may be may decide that we don't want these people who have been in government and we uh -huh. want this new one and or maybe a force could you see kenyan politics is a bit uh tricky because it works with uh, like background people uh -huh. who put who have the force uh -huh. so if we could get forces unite to promote this other candidate, mm -hmm. anyone can win the election. Then it is anyone's race. Yes. Uh, well, that is uh, Weri Momogo. This is the hot spot. I am Kelvin Mongai. And it's time for us to take a short break. But do not worry, we will be right back. Machines that quietly slip into our dreams. We think about them either consciously or unconsciously. We see them out of the corner of our eyes, symbols of status the world over. They are the objects of our desire. Cars. We all want to own them for one reason or the other. Here on Accelerate, we give you as many details as you could possibly need to make an informed decision on the cars available to you. We look at the seemingly ugly, the drop dead gorgeous boogie boogie, the brand new, the striking classics, and so much more. 
Join Calvin Mongai on Auxilarate every Saturday from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. only on Dysak TV, the cradle of goodness. Good morning. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Every morning as you set out for the day, we are right there with you. We bring you a review of your dailies as well as keeping you in touch with your current affairs. We discuss issues affecting us as well as entertain you as you set out for your day. So join me, Kelvin Mungai. And I, Wendy Mumuko. Every weekday from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Only on the Morning View Show. Here at Dysak TV, the cradle of goodness. Royal County College of Technology. We offer the following courses. Business Management, Accounting Packages, Social Work, Community Development, Secretarial Studies, ICT, ICDL, Computer Studies, among others. Visit our website at www.royalcountycollegeoftechnology.co.ke Call us on 0799-256-357 or 0733-756-060 Email us via royalcountycollegeoftechnology at gmail.com Registration is ongoing. Train with the best to become the best. Royal County College of Technology. Modeling excellence. So welcome to Junction View Estate. This is a project that is 100 meters off Moya Makutano Road. The project is due for commercial, as you can see. It is a few meters from uh, Makutano town. The plots have already title deeds. Again, the red soil is red soil. The size is 50 by 100. And the plots are only going, get this, they are only going for 1.2 million shillings. And I've just told you, the plots have already title deeds. So all you need is to come see, identify your plot, and then you proceed and transfer the title into your team. When you talk of deposit, come with as little as 50,000 Kenya shillings. You can make a deposit and acquire and own a plot with us. Thank you so much. You can also reach us on this number 0700-048-048. You can also get to our office, Makutano office, just next to Fortune Circle. We also have another office at Keno Town. That's just at just right opposite KCB as you head to Moranga Town. That's a few meters from County Supermarket as you head to Moranga. At Wicred Property Company Limited, we partner with you in actualizing your dreams of owning a plot or a property for a better future. Thank you and welcome. Bedlam ni dawa bora zaidi ya kuwa kunguni ina uwezo wa kuwa viwango vyote kutoka mayai hadi kunguni aliyekoma haina harufu wala mwasho na inaweza kutumika mahali popote Bedlam imedhinishwa na shirika la afya duniani WHO ipate kwa agrovet karibu nawe kwa maelezo zaidi tumia nambari zifuatazo angamiza kunguni na Bedlam kutoka Kenagro this is Cascade Institute of Hospitality, an institute with a difference, teaching with a purpose to produce young men and women of distinction. <laughs> A generation of professionals. Come on. We offer certificate and diploma qualifications in hospitality management and information technology. Our school is accredited by the Technical and Vocational Education and Training Authority, the TVETA. We are located at Cascades Plaza, Karatina Road, right next to Thika Fire Station. Talk to us today on 0703 777 888. That's 0703-777-888. Cascade Institute of Hospitality, an oasis of excellence. January intake is ongoing.
hot spot happening right here on morning deal on dysac tv do remember that we are live on facebook we are live on youtube we are live on dysac tv.com you can also catch us on signet and you can leave us your feedback on uh, facebook and on youtube and we'll be sure to sample some of them at the very end of the show now where momogo has had some things that um she's gone to cater for but I am joined on set by Borangeti yeah. and Bona Modime, <laughs> who are part of the news team that we will be revealing later uh, in the row on in the week. And um, uh, we'll be looking at some... Well, gentlemen, I want us to look at the two economic models that are being presented by the two um, alliances that are in the race to uh, State House. We basically look at if they are achievable and how realistic they are based on how the two people running these alliances say that um, they will achieve them. And uh, first of all, let us look at um, the 10% growth by Honorable Ray Laudinga from the Azimio side, where he says, I'll grow economy by 10%, says Raila as he quotes the cost. Now, is 10%, considering where we are, is 10% economic growth Per annum, I actually heard him say per annum. Is it possible? What I'm getting? Uh, right now, to, to grow the economy by 10%, uh, I think uh, it will be a bit hard for him. Mm -hmm. uh, looking at the debt the way it is right now, we are at uh, a very huge debt. Mm. The figure stands at about 8 trillion. Yeah, it stands at 8, eight trillion, whereby it will not be that much easy for mm -hmm. him to. To 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 to, uh, to be able to raise the economy by ten percent. Mm -hmm. Why? Because uh, right now the country is suffering. Uh, we have uh, food high food prices, mm -hmm. as we have seen in the recent days, and people are really uh, complaining about that. So making it uh, the economy to by ten percent, it will be hard for him because right now, when he takes the 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 the, uh, the leadership, he'll have uh, to fight bank to get the the money and pay back the debt. Mm -hmm. it, so he'll be fighting to pay back the debt. But raising the economy at that time, it will be hard for him because of the huge debt. Uh, maybe I use the, the Kiswahili uh, way, mm -hmm. I find it easy. Kwa sababu gani sasa hivi, akijaribu sana kuupandisha uchumi, ya wana wasema kwa mwaka, sindio? Itakuwa ni ngumu kwa ke. Kwa sababu bado, anahari za kutekeleza. Na ukiangalia deni lilopo sasa hivi, ni kubwa mno. Mm -hmm. Yani ni kubwa. Sio kama vile wale watangulizi ambao wamepita walikuwa meacha madeni. Mm. Deni ni kubwa sana. Na, 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 na kulipandisha, ame kukuweka uchumi uh, upande by 10%. That it's, a, it's, a, it's a huge figure. 10%. Yeah. Sio figure ndogo vile watu wanavichukulia uh, kiraisi tu. Mm. Unajua sasa hivyo na siyasa wanaongea. Lazima wawe na maneno, halua, zinakuwa nyingi. Those sweet words and whatever. They have to keep promises. Kwamba tutafanya hivi. They have to promise this. They have to promise. But immediately, they take the leadership. Tutaona mambo tofauti. You remember last time, uh, wakati uhuru na naruto wana mkujia tena kwenye mkujia ungozi. What did they promise? Five, uh, five stadiums. I don't know what and what. A lot of promises. In three months time, tutako tumejenga hii. In three months time, tutako tumefanya hii. But what happened? Hakuna kitu kilefanyika. Uh -huh. So, zineza zikawa ni empty promises. Kupandisho chumi siyo kwa mba ni, ni, ni jembo la kigeni kwa mba tumeanza kulisikia leo. But hili tunaona kwa mba litakuwa na changamoto. Tayari mzigo ni mkubo. Uh -huh. eh, Sia jembo tukashitukia kesho tumeamuka. Tukambua Kenya mefanya nini? Emeuzo. Uganda waliuza airport. Uka ikabidhi. Sasa tunakili kitu, kitu gani cha kukabidhi. Ndiyo miundombinu hiko. Lakini imedelewa kwa sababu ya nini? ya mikopo zaidi na inendelea kukopo. Mm. Na ukitaka kuangalia, labda tuangalia hili deni li litokana, li, li mekujia vipi likafika kubwa. Kabla ya, ya, ya handshake, ukiangalia uh, uh, wachambuzi mbali mbali wanavu lichambuwa hili swala, wengine wanakuambia kwamba, kabla ya, ya, ya handshake alipokuwa naibu wa rais pamoja na rais wake, uh, unawana kwamba deni la taifa, ilikuwa liku kwenye 4.3 trillion hili mikopo. Mm -hmm. Lakini, alipo, walipo tengana, ndoe alipo vunjika. Alipo na kiongozi wa, wa, wa chama cha ODM. Deni, lika ungezeka tena mara nyingine. Waka kopa zaidi. Mm -hmm. Waka kopa zaidi. zaidi. Kwa limi ungezeka, li ungezeka vipi? 
Sasa inakuwa ni malaumu kwamba huyu ameleta deni, huyu ameleta deni. Bati kwa kiongozi huyu wa chama cha 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 eh, omunga, wa muungano wa vuguvugu la azimio mm-hmm. bwana Raila Odinga na mm-hmm. kiongozi wa chama cha Odinga. Kwake itakuwa ni ni, ni ni ngoma sana. Mimi naona ni 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 ni, ni, ni mapema sana kuahidi taifa utapandisha uchumi wakati tayari wananchi wenyewe wana akili na wana macho wanaona kinachoendelea katika uchumi. Mm-hmm. Sasa hivi uchumi umeumia na anayeumia zaidi ni mwananchi. Na kama uchumi lazima upande na 10% then bado hizo eh, food prices na mambo mengine vitaongezeka zaidi ili kufikia uchumi huu wanaosema. Mm-hmm. Kwa kama tulikuwa tunanunua unga eh, mia moja tutaanza kununua tena na mia moja na kumi. Mm-hmm. So that afikie ile 10% kupandisha uchumi lazima bei ya bidhaa zitapanda maradufu sasa hivi tunavyoziona. Mm-hmm. Kama bado ana mtindo huo kupandisha 10% tena alipe madeni ambayo yalipo mbele yake. Bado kuna miradi ya maendeleo ajenda zake anazotaka kutekeleza. Tumeona bado ana ana ana, ana, ana ile mambo ya mradi wa 1600 kila mwezi kulipa wale wazile familia ambao wajiwezi wale ambao wana watoto. Bado ana ile kutengeneza. Hata akisema kwamba anajua ni wapi atapata pesa. Mm-hmm. Mbona kama anajua ni wapi atapata pesa kwa nini simshauri rais mapema? walipe ile deni ili mwananchi apone mm, na tuta, tutaingia kwa hilo swala la anakosema atatoa hizo pesa za mm-hmm. kufanikisha ku uh, well uh, to to actualize the plans that he has yeah. uh, bwana madime do you, before we get into the where the money will come from mm-hmm. and uh, later on we we'll look at the bottom up economic model do you think that it is possible for honorable Raila Odinga to actually be able to grow the economy by 10% per annum as he claims? Mimi nitasema kwamba siku zote mwana siasa ni yule yule. Mhm. Mwana siasa yeye kazi yake huwa ni kupiga siasa. Kwa sababu tumeona hakuna siku utapata kwamba mwana siasa ameahidi kitu akiingia kwenye uongozi akatimiza kwa asilimia mia. Mhm. Hakuna. Na utapata wengi wametimiza yale malengo ambayo walikuwa wameahidi wananchi kwa asilimia chache sana. Kwa hivyo kazi yao huwa pale vile ni kuuza tu sera. Mm-hmm. Lakini wakishaingia kwenye uongozi kutekeleza yale majukumu ambayo walikuwa wameahidi wananchi, huwa ni vigumu sana. Mm-hmm. Ukeza kuangalia pale vile. Kwa sababu kwa sasa hivi ukeza kuangalia mtu kama uh, Raila Odinga. Amekuwa kwenye serikali. Mm-hmm. Na alipokuwa kwenye serikali ni nini ambacho alifanya zaidi tuka, tuweze kumwamini kwa sasa hivi kwamba akirudi kwenye serikali ataweza kutimiza na aweze kuleta uchumi kwa asilimia hiyo kumi katika kila mwaka vile anaposema mhm nini ambacho wameweza kutonyesha tukajua kwamba huyu kweli tukaweza kumweka kwenye serikali awe rais wetu atatimizia hizi ahadi zote ukaweza kuangalia kwa sasa hivi uchumi ambao uko Kenya tukiangazia mwaka 2020 ulikuwa umeumizwa sana na janga la corona. Na sasa hivi linaendelea kuangalia ni vipi litajikomua kutoka kwenye hilo lindi la janga la corona kwa maana ilikuwa limekomazwa sana. Wanaweza wanajaribu kuingilia katika kila sekta. Waweze kuangalia sekta utalii, sekta ambazo zinaleta uchumi katika nchi yetu ya Kenya. Waendelee kuzikuza kwa pole pole. Kwa hivyo kwa sasa hivi kusema kwamba ataongeza uchumi kwa asilimia kumi kila mwaka. Mhm. Anatudanganya. Well, uh, part of growing the economy mm-hmm. is uh, securing jobs for the people who are in the country and who are jobless so that they can then be able to pay taxes. Na corona ilipokuja ni watu wengi sana walipoteza kazi zao. So, um, other than uh, anachosema kwenye atatoa pesa, is it possible to secure jobs for these people so that they can then uh, be able to pay taxes? It has been the norm. Mm. Mwanasiasa yote akiingia kwenye siasa utasikia akisema kwamba nitapatia vijana kazi. Mm-hmm. Nitapatia vijana kazi. Hivyo ndo wamekuwa kisema kila time yote mwenye ataingia kwenye eh, akitaka kuingia kwenye serikali atapatia vijana kazi. Mm-hmm. Lakini pindi watapo wanapoingia kwenye serikali utapata kwamba vijana hawapati kazi. Wenye wanapata kazi sana sana ni wazee. Mm-hmm. Kuna wakati walikuwa nasema slogan kwamba kazi kwa vijana lakini pesa inaenda kwa wazee. Eh. Mm-hmm. Hii inatuonyesha namna gani? Kwamba kuna wale mabosses ambao vijana watafanya kazi lakini si wengi ambao watakuwa wako kwenye kazi. Lakini ambao wana faidi ni wale katika ngazi za juu za kiserikali pale. Mm-hmm. Na ukeza kuangalia kwa sasa hivi ni asilimia nyingi sana ya watu ambao wana kazi. 
kando na janga la corona ambalo lilizidisha e, majanga katika wana Kenya mm -hmm. bado watu, watu walikuwa wana kazi alafu janga la corona likakuja ikakuwa kizingizio kwamba wale ambao wamefutwa kazi pia wameingia wamejiunga na wale ambao walikuwa wana kazi mm -hmm. kwa sababu wengi sasa watakuwa wanalia pale vile kwa sababu ukiweza kuangalia walikuwa sana sana ile kafi na nini zilikuwa zimekomaza sana ile hali ya kufanya kazi mm -hmm. na wengi waliweza kurudi manyumbani ili waweze kuendelea kujikimu katika labda ukulima na vitu kama hivyo mm -hmm. mm -hmm. na uh, bwana geti mm -hmm. Uh, in support of his 10% economic growth per annum, yeah. Honorable Raila says uh, these are programs aimed at ending po extreme poverty in Kenya. We have identified several potential sources of money to fund the welfare programs. Key among them is running the corruption networks out of business. That is what he said. So my question is, if the people in the government know they, where these uh, corruption networks are, why is the ESCC, the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, seemingly incapable of closing these networks? Uh, the ESCC is not doing its work. Mm. Uh, uh, when we look uh, at, the, at, the, at the situation, uh, the, the, the rate of percentage, uh, the rate of corruption mm -hmm. is very much high. Mm -hmm. And no one cares about it. When I'm coming to ESCC, to me, to Kwa ni kazi yao ni kuhoji? Is that the only work that they can do? Kwamba, tumemuita kiongozi fulani kuja kumuhoji. Just the other day, nilikuwa na ungena rafiki yangu mmoja. Kanambia, sheria siyo za mwanainchi ochini. Sheria siyo za kiongozi. Lakini sheria sina mkanamiza zaidi tule mwanainchi ochini. Huku juu tutaona tu wanaangaishwa. Hameitwa kotini, hamefanyua hivi, hamefanyua hivi. Just yesterday, kuna kwa mkawa, ilitokea janu kwamba kuna kieje kuna eh, mwanaume mmoja alifungwa amehukumiwa kifungo cha maisha kwa sababu tu ameiba simu na 1030 uh -huh. eh, Chinese mishuka sasa una, 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 unaona mambo kama haya anafungwa maisha wakati kuna mtu kule nje ameua kuna kiongozi kule nje amehusika na mambo ya ugaidi kuna kiongozi kule nje ameujumu uchumi mambo kama haya lakini hao watu tunawaona tunazunguka nao na tunakula nao na bado tena wanakuja wanaona wanatupatia ahadi zao za uongo. Hawachukuliwi hatua. Mm -hmm. Kwa nini tume kazi yake ni kitu gani? Kwa nini huyu mwananchi wa chini anakandamizwa zaidi ukikompare na, na, na kiongozi wake? Maana mimi nafikiri angewajibishwa kiongozi hata mwananchi angefanya nini? Mm -hmm. Angekuwa na adabu. Lakini kama okay. kiongozi hawajibishwi unategemea mwananchi atakuwa na adabu. Sasa wana shuleni, mwalimu ana misbehave darasani. Watoto watafanya nini? Wanafunzi pia wanaanza kumisbehave kama mwalimu ana misbehave sisi ni akina nani mm -hmm. na wenyewe wanaanza tabia but once a teacher amewajibishwa wanafunzi wananyoka na once kiongozi amewajibishwa basi hawa wananchi wake pia wanakuwa wana, wana, wana kwenye kwa sababu watasema kama sheria imemkula kiongozi fulani sisi ni akina nani kama eh, eh, pengine natumia mfano eh, 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 naibu au rais pengine amechukuliwa hatua ama rais amechukuliwa hatua Tumeona kama vile Sudan Omar al-Bashir rais alipita. Mhm. Mm alizochukuliwa. Unajua kilichoingia kwa akili za wananchi wake ni kitu gani? Alihujumu uchumi. Kilichotokea kachukuliwa kama. Kwa hiyo kwa nguvuni. Mm -hmm. Sasa wananchi nao wanajua kwamba eh ukikosea bwana kuna vyombo vya sheria. Kwa nini sheria tutafikia? Kwa Kenya sasa ni tofauti. Kiongozi anaiba. Tunatuniambia kabisa huyo ni mwizi. Ameiba. Sasa kama ni mwizi mbona nashikwe? Mhm. Mm ina maana kwamba hakuna sheria inayo inayotuambia kwamba mwizi anafanya anafaa kufanya nini ama nani anafaa kumchukulia tu kwa hiyo mimi naona tu haya ni ni ni, 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 ni sheria ziko pale kumkandamiza mwanaji wa chini tukiongelea kisema swala la corruption eh, kiongozi wa chama cha Dembona Raila Odinga alikuwa kwenye serikali alikuwa waziri mkuu lakini alikuwa na, alikuwa pia naye na nguvu zaidi pia za kuweka ushawishi kwa kukamatwa kwa nini maana waziri mkuu ndiye mtendaji mkuu wa serikali wakati uh -huh. kama miradi ya serikali na kimbi ipo kwenye harakati na na supervise pia uh -huh. ni majukumu yake ya mtendaji mkuu wa serikali ndio kazi yake lakini kilichotokea ilikuwa ni nini viongozi wanaiba nyamaza tu uh -huh. yo tunaona mtu mwingine anachukua sasa leo ndo tunakuja kusikia kuna waizi hao waizi wao wanafanya kazi gani kwa ndani uh -huh. kwa hiyo swala la kusema mtu akisema kwamba anamka na corruption sio swala la nini sasa hivi wa Kenya hawaamini mtu kama huyo uh -huh. tunataka tuone matendo kwanza Ukitwambia tuna deal na corruption, mshuhulikie mapema. Kwa nini wana uwezo kupeleka kesi kotini? 
Eh, wangekuwa wanashughulikia mapema, yani kwa mwananchi singekuwa ni 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 ni, 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 ni masuala ya kujadili. Mwananchi angekuwa na uhakika kwamba huyu amesema atawapeleka kotini, basi ni kweli watafanya nini? Watapeleka kotini. Lakini kama sasa hivi hakuna kiongozi anaye fight corruption. Tunaambiwa billion bills zinaibiwa kwa siku. Wao viongozi wanaiba pesa. Sijui nini kimetokea, bali tunawaona. Sasa mwananchi wa kawaida akiiba ndio utasikia ametuja kutafutwa mpaka nyumbani na maaskari mm. kuliko hata huyo kiongozi. Na bwana Modibe. Mm. Uh, are you satisfied mm. with what the president Kenyatta's government has done in the fight against corruption keeping in mind that kulikuwa na huu wakati uh, ambapo viongozi walikuwa wanaambiwa they have to declare their wealth and their sources of their wealth kusikuwa na mtu analipwa pesa kidogo kwa serikali kwa sababu ya kazi anayofanya lakini huku nje hana biashara hana chochote lakini ana pesa mingi are you satisfied with what the government has done so far in the fight against corruption sasa sema ni satisfied kabisa kabisa kwa sababu kama rais mwenyewe anaweza simama pale mbele ya umma aseme kwamba kuna 2 billion inapotea kila siku Balala ya kutuambia kwamba kuna mikakati ambayo anafanya ya kuziba ile mianya ile 2 billion inapotea. Anasema kwamba kuna 2 billion inapotea kila siku. Mm-hmm. Wewe ni kama rais. Wewe ndo kiongozi. Unafaa utuambie kwamba ninahakikisha kwamba kuna corruption ambayo inatendeka. Lakini wewe utasimama pale utuambie kwamba kuna 2 billion ambayo inapotea kila siku. Na hiyo ni corruption ambayo inaendelea Kenya. Ukiangalia siasa za Raila Odinga, atakwambia kwamba yeye anajua mianya ambapo anaweza kuziba ile corruption ambayo isitokee pale vile. Huko kwa sasa hivi tunajua kwamba yuko katika upande wa serikali. Huko kwa upande wa serikali sasa hivi umekuwa waziri mkuu. Mbona usizibi ile mianya kwa sasa mm-hmm. hivi? Mbona usubiri kwamba uingie ukue kama rais? Kumaanisha kwamba usipochaguliwa ukua rais, wewe haujali ile pesa inaendwa. Ile mianya haitazibwa. Haitazibwa ile mianya. Mm-hmm. Sasa kwa hivyo ukiweza kuambia kwamba sisi uh, um, umetuambia kwamba kuna 2 billion ambayo inapotea. Corruption unajua kwamba corruption ipo katika hii Kenya. Na unajua kwamba 100% inatekelezwa katika Kenya. Utajua utaona kwamba kila mahali anasema kwamba uh, kuna kiongozi ambaye ni mwizi, ni mwizi wa mashamba, sijui anafanya nini. Mbona kama unajua huyo ni kiongozi mwenye ni mwizi, ni mwizi wa mashamba na vitu ambavyo anatenda. Mbona sichukuliwe atu wapeleke kotini? Mm-hmm. Lakini nyinyi mtasema kwamba mtaongea tu ni mambo ya kawaida. Ani uh, ukiweza kuangalia mambo ya corruption ama uwezi yamechukuliwa tu ni mambo ya kawaida kabisa mm-hmm. kwa yule kiongozi lakini mwananchi wa huku chini yeye wakati wote sheria wewe iko mkononi pale pale akiiba hata aibe nini aibe hata chaja ile ya simu atapelekwa kotini na atafungwa lakini utakuta kwamba mtu ameiba mabilioni ya pesa na hakuna tu ambaye atachukuliwa utakuta kwamba siku yake ya kuingia kotini anaweza unaweza ambiwa kwamba amekuwa mgonjwa melazo na hata fika kotini pale vile itafika tena siku nyingine ambapo anafaa kuelekea kotini utaambiwa kwamba kuna emergency ambayo imetokea sijui ni vipi vipi wataipeleka hivyo na yeah. itamaliza hiyo kesi itamaliza zaidi ya miaka kumi hapo yeah. na baadaye utakuja kusikia kwamba hiyo kesi imeisha hivyo na ikiwa ni mwananchi wa kawaida haichukui wiki mbili mm. ushaingia kizimbani Well, uh, unfortunately muda umetupa kisogo. Eh, itabidi tutamatishe ili Wairimu Mogo aingie akiwa uh, na mgeni wake na uh, topic ambayo wanataka ku discuss. But um, before we end hotspot, here's a question for you our viewers. Could the failure of the ESCC to fight corruption be because that the ones they are supposed to be fighting against are the leaders of the country and therefore they are leaders reach out to us on 23595 or send us your opinion on um, any one of our social media platforms that is uh, our, on facebook we are at disac tv on youtube we are at disac tv and we are live on both of those uh, platforms and we will be sure to sample some of the, your answers at the end of the show uh Weiru Momogo is coming up shortly with let's talk uh, do stay tuned for that thank you
desire to turn your house into a home? At Pinto Furnishings, we offer exquisite interior design solutions. Contact us for curtains, shears and curtain rods, wall stickers, wallpapers and wall hangings, beddings, mats, lights, live and artificial decorative plants and many more. We also offer interior design classes at affordable prices. For more information, call 0710-606312, 0710-606312. Choose elegance, choose Pinto. Je, ungependa kuwa shupavu katika operesheni za mashine kubwa ama heavy machineries? Njo Kilimambogo Highways Building and Technology, shule iliyotambulika viwandani, munchini na nje ya Kenya. Njo usome courses kama plant operator and driving, instructors training, stone cutting, borehole drilling training na nyinginezo. Tuma application kupitia simu online ama utembelee Thika Garissa Road. Boga Stage, Kilimambogo Highways Building and Technology. Tinga Tinga is the thing. You are watching Dysak TV, the cradle of goodness. Hii kazi ni ya wanaume. Tuende nyumbani. Hapana mama, mimi nataka kujua kuendesha. Sheri. Nataka kujua kuendesha. Ah, wewe wachana na kasheri. Sasa unaruhusu kasheri mimi. Nakwambia makosa hii kazi ni ya wanaume. Wachana na kasheri. Kasheri soma. Ni nini huwa wewe hapa? Hapa hata kazi za wanaume ni kama za wanawake. Hivyo ndivyo mambo yalivyokuwa. Mama alipogundua bintie anajifunza plant machinery operation. Lakini kwa sasa amejawa na tabasamu. Hey. Mwanzoni msichana wetu alipotuambia nataka kusoma mambo na matinga tinga. Hai. But the three city today we know better. Sure. County to County Plant Machinery and Driving School. Mabingo katika ufundishaji wa kuendesha magari na matinga tinga ya aina yote. Tumefunza kwa miaka mingi. Tumefunza watu wengi. Wengine wameajiriwa na wengine wamejiajiri. Utajijenga na tujenge taifa letu. Tupigie simu kupitia nambari ulizopewa au tutembele thika along Garissa Road. County to County Plant Machinery and Driving School. The Kenyan way for Kenyans. Royal County College of Technology. We offer the following courses: business management, accounting packages, social work, community development, secretarial studies, ICT, ICDL, computer studies, among others. Visit our website at www.royalcountycollegeoftechnology.co.ke. Call us on 07 992563570 or 0733756060 email us via royal county college of technology at gmail.com registration is ongoing train with the best to become the best royal county college of technology modeling excellence So welcome to Junction View Estate. This is a project that is 100 meters off Moya Makutano Road. The project is ready for commercial as you can see. It is a few meters from Makutano town. The plots have already title deeds. Again, the red soil is red soil. The size is 50 by 100 and the plots are only going get this. They are only going for 1.2 million shillings. And I've just told you the plots have already title deeds so all you need is to come see, identify your plot and then you proceed and transfer the title into your team. When you talk of deposit, come with as little as 50,000 Kenya shillings. You can make a deposit and acquire and own a plot with us. Thank you so much. You can also reach us on this number 0700-048-048. You can also get to our office, Makutano office, just next to Fortune Circle. We also have another office at Keno Town. That's just adjacent opposite KCB as you head to Moranga Town. That's a few meters from County Supermarket as you head to Moranga. At Wickrad Property Company Limited, we partner with you in actualizing your dreams of owning a plot or a property for a better future. Thank you and welcome.
Bedlam ni dawa bora zaidi ya kuwa kunguni ina uwezo wa kuwa viwango vyote kutoka mayai hadi kunguni aliyekomaa haina harufu wala mwasho na inaweza kutumika mahali popote Bedlam imidhinishwa na shirika la afya duniani WHO Ipate kwa Agrovet karibu nawe kwa maelezo zaidi tumia nambari zifuatazo angamiza kunguni na Bedlam kutoka Kinagro Do you believe in love at first sight? Two different people, two different lives. Jack, a hero pilot. He has everything he has ever wanted. But with the past, he'd rather forget. On the other hand, Olivia is a teacher. Kind, loving, but not in the time. Two strangers cross paths and known to them their lives are just about to change. He's looking for his dad. Oh, he came to the wrong place. Hey Jack! Wake up! Jack is now faced with the challenge of raising a troublesome son. Compromises need to be made. <laughs> Give me a band aid, please. Hurry. Get on board. Let's travel and unravel this love mystery. Don't miss Opo on Monday to Thursday from 8 to 9 p.m. Only on Dysak TV, the cradle of the on important information, worry no more. Here at the Dysart News Desk, we bring you up to speed with authoritative, unbiased and factual news as it happens. Our team goes into the heart of the story. And brings it to you with professionalism, credibility, balance and realness. I am Boni Gaidori and this is the Dysart News Desk. I am Wanji Konjoroge and this is the Dysart News Desk. I am Judy Chalo and this is the Dysart News Desk. I am Halima Omar and this is the Dysart News Desk. I am Wanjima Mugo and this is the Dysart News Desk. <laughs> Mtazamaji, huu ni ukurasa mpya. Wahenga walinena, mbiu ya mgambo ikilia. Kuna jambo. Kweli, kuna jambo. Kwa habari kemkem na za kuaminika. Kwa matukio mbali mbali hapa nchini. Ulimenguni na za spoti pia. Ungana nami Edmund Mwadime. Pamoja nami Faith Nzai. Nami Joseph Ngeti. Huu ni mwanzo mpya. Kumbuka, jimbi atawika jimbi. Awikapo. Atawika. Jimbi, atawika jimbi. Awikapo, atawika. Jimbi, atawika jimbi. Awikapo, atawika. Hello, good people. I am Pauline Kamau. I have an eye and an ear for talent. I come to your hood and sniff out those talents. As raw as it may be. So come on with Atalanta, and I'll help you with your vision. I'm going to help you Looking to unwind after a long day? Let's unwind together on Recap as we interact with fun guests. Discuss trending stories. How do you explain to your wife that Debu nilikuwa nimeenda kazi? Nikarudi kama nimepigwa nguvu and reveal peculiar memes. I'm not a thief. I don't support theft. 
Oh, tuvunje mifupa kama bado meno iko. Shake shake. Hey, shake shake. Hey, shake shake. Hey, shake shake. Viuno viuno. Nakukaribisha mpenzi mtazamaji ndani ya Shake shake kipindi cha muziki wa rumba ndani ya Desert TV the cradle of goodness na mimi mama Afrika elombe kumwasi hey mambo yako sawa na tunakuletea rumba tutakuwa tunakuletea rumba asili rumba ya injili tutakuwa tunakuchezea sukus tutakuchezea mutwas pia cha cho mtazamaji eh tutakuletea muziki mpya kutoka Kongo kwa sababu hii ni sheke sheke ndani ya Daisan TV the cradle of goodness kila siku ya Jumapili saa 8 hadi saa 10 Welcome to the biggest, baddest, newest show gracing your screens. I'm Justin, but you can call me Justo. My name is DJ Case Kenya. I am Miss Nara and this is the D Corner. Every Monday to Friday from 5 to 7 p.m., get ready to experience a new kind of programming. We bring you an action-packed, rib-cracking show. We keep you up to date with all your local and international celebrities on catch-up. Sit back and relax as DJ Case Kenya plays all your favorite hits from across the globe. We care about your well-being, so we'll discuss all matters lifestyle, from nutrition to health and fitness, from business to education. There is something for everyone. Get to know more about your favorite celebrities as we talk to them one on one. Join us on Real Talk where we tackle real issues facing the youth with lots of laughs along the way. Only on Dissect TV, the cradle of goodness. You've got to love it. Culture construct a sense of who we are as a society, as an individual or as a nation. Where else art influences society by changing opinion, instilling values and translating experience across time and space. Art transforms the world. Join me, Boni Gaidori, as I bring to you the craft in art and culture. Only at Daisak TV, the credo of God. We value your feedback and welcome any comment, query or complaint regarding our programs. Get in touch with us on 0724 One to one eight one two or email complaints at dissecttv dot com. Welcome back. This is Let's Talk with Barimo here in the morning due show at Dysac TV. Thank you so much again for choosing Dysac TV as a channel of choice. Remember you can send us your feedback at Dysac TV on Twitter at Dysac TV all over. Also send us an SMS on the number on your screen on WhatsApp. The number is on your screen. Screen send us your questions or comments and I'll be glad to share some of that feedback later on. Today is a beautiful Wednesday as I said. It's Wednesday is usually WCW. There is so much happening, Sagana 3. But right about now, in Let's Talk with Wairimo, our conversation is about career choice and stigma. And now I'm humbled to be hosting Stella Mutahi, who is a lorry driver. And um, let us know who is Stella. <laughs> thank <laughs> you very one. much, uh, Wairimo, and thank you very much for having me on this show. Mm -hmm. My name is Stella Mutahi. Mm -hmm. I'm a mother of four daughters. Mm. Uh, and I've been in motorsport since 2009 mm -hmm. and now we're in 2022 so you can do the math mm -hmm. and see that quite it's uh, it's quite some years and uh, it's quite an honor to be here today mm -hmm. to share my story uh, and encourage especially the youth and the ladies mm -hmm. and tell them that they can think out of the box or throw away the box for mm -hmm. that matter yeah well uh, 
a lot of times growing up we thought that uh, the motor sport is a um, male kind of field. So how did you get there? Uh, the stories are never unique because mm -hmm. uh, you find the exposure. I was exposed into motorsport just by going to watch the cars. Ah. If you go back to before 2002, mm -hmm. the World Rally Championship had one of its uh, sections here in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And uh, it used to be held around Easter. And Easter was raining. And it would pass by most of the villages because they, they drove around Kenya. Mm -hmm. So on your particular day, you'd go out there, wait for the cars. And the bug just caught me. And I was wondering, how ah, are these guys in the car driving? Why are these guys swaying the car like that? What's happening in there? Mm -hmm. So my curiosity never left. Mm -hmm. I went through school, finished school, started family, started work. I'd never entered a rally car. And when they say life begins at 40, mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. began at 40. Mm -hmm. That was the first time I hoped into a rally car. As a driver or? No. Normally, to... you start as a co-driver. Uh-huh. Why is it important to start as a co-driver? Because a co-driver is the heartbeat of that car. Mm -hmm. That's the interesting part. It's mm -hmm. not the driver. Mm -hmm. Driver is just told, let's go straight, turn here. Who, why am I telling you to turn here? It means I have advanced notes, what we call pace notes. Mm -hmm. So you start by going to learn the pace notes. And in short, what are pace notes? It's, uh, for those who remember secretarial courses, they used to do shorthand. Yes. Because you can't read the whole sentence. By the time you read the whole sentence, you've gotten round to where you're going. Mm -hmm. So they are written in shorthand and they are read in shorthand. So you must go and uh, have someone mentor you, mm -hmm. especially for those who've been there. I would like to really acknowledge Abdul Sidi, uh, Dave Masharia, who have kept up at this game where they mentored people to learn what it means to be a core driver. Mm -hmm. Now you have gone, you've learned this shorthand language you are ready mm -hmm. you understand that uh, what your role will be in the car mm -hmm. with your driver most importantly is you must be able to also have a driver mm -hmm. yeah it's like a marriage mm -hmm. on this marriage in the car there has to be chemistry uh -huh. why because <laughs> you are part, part and parcel of making the driver go faster they don't know where they are going ah. why do i say this if i went to rwanda and someone read the notes i'll go if mm -hmm. I went to Uganda and uh, someone read the notes, I'll go. Meaning now, uh, this person is one who will make me go faster. Because they can see this is a flat place. I hadn't known that we are going for three kilometers. Three kilometers means step on the pedal. We may be going to a rocky terrain, a sand river. That's a person who says caution. You need to oh, so, slow. So the notes is like, uh, will the car driver have prior gone there or they are just given the notes? Yeah, what happens the day before the rally, there's mm -hmm. what we call recce. Uh -huh. Recce, you go in a standard car, not the rally car, uh -huh. and you go slowly. There's also a speed limit. So mm -hmm. recce day is not rally day. Mm -hmm. You go with your notes, and what happens now is that, guess what? We have all different cars we are driving, different power. Mm -hmm. So we will need to adjust those notes. Those are standard notes that you're given by the organizer. Mm -hmm. Then now when you go there, someone may see a bump and decide, for my car, it's just flat. Mm -hmm. I don't need to brake. There's another one who knows, if I don't slow here, I'll brake something in the car. So uh -huh. you go and modify the notes and have a look at the general terrain. Mm -hmm. Then come back with your team of mechanics. Don't forget now you have another team behind you. Uh -huh. And you sit and you give a brief. Mm -hmm. This is what we saw and this is how we shall tackle our rally. Mm -hmm. So the team is now well aware. Now come rally day, will you remember as a driver all those places you went? Oh. Maybe there are five stages, <coughs> and if there are five stages, chances are you won't remember what you saw yesterday. Mm -hmm. It's the core driver's notes that take you from one start to the end to another. Mm -hmm. How do you link up from one section and now you're going to start another 20 kilometers away mm -hmm. from the notes. Uh -huh. So now you're a core driver and uh, you've gone through this, the different stages. Yes. So at what point now do you decide I'm good enough yeah. to be the driver? Or it's the, it's, is it them who tells you now you're good enough to be the driver? No. You know, uh, this is self-driven. Because mm -hmm. just like uh, when you en enter a spot, it's you who drives yourself now. I am ready uh, to start. Where is the car? Mm -hmm. For me, it was very interesting. I got the opportunity. Here I am. I have learned no car. 
and I went for a function and just found somebody who had a car but no co-driver. Ah. Okay. Now that's how the law of attraction. Mm -hmm. I am ready. Someone else is looking for a uh, co-driver. John Mugai and we got into the rally car and began. Mm -hmm. So I was a co-driver mm -hmm. and I would guide anyone and tell you it's very important to start as a co-driver before you switch and go to the driver's seat. Mm -hmm. Why? You understand better now what your co-driver is telling you. Mm -hmm. You are more obedient. You know the people who are yeah. also, oh, they are like, oh, what are you saying? And they'll just fly. Mm -hmm. And you find guys have rolled, uh, you know, you broke the car and such things. Let's talk about your first day as a co-driver. What was the experience for you? I wasn't so sure. Now, at the end of it, I wasn't too sure that this is what I wanted. The speeds and the rough terrain. And I am thrilled at some point I'm scared, you know. I, no one should lie to you that the first day is your smoothest day. It's not normally your smoothest day. Mm -hmm. But when I got out of the car, that, now the afterthought of it, wow. Mm. I'll still want to do this mm -hmm. once more. Mm -hmm. So once I got out of the rally car, I thought about it and I knew I was hooked. Mm -hmm. I would go back into a rally car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's talk about now the decision making to make it a career. At what point now do you decide that this is no longer the passion I had? Yeah. I need to convert it into a career. Uh, one of the things I'll mention is about passion. Mm -hmm. And uh, passion pushes you very hard to form a career because you'll find most times we are schooled. Mm -hmm. You went through high school, you went through college, university for a course that your grades dictated you were good at. Mm -hmm. So you found yourself, you're a lawyer, you're an engineer, you are in the media. But that was because it was the education part of it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, no one allowed you to use your passion when in school. Sure, sure, sure. It was about go through school, that's what everyone your age does. Mm -hmm. But now when you're out there, you find that you're the master of your game. So you may find I am educated on this, mm -hmm. but my everyday drive when I wake up is motorsport. Mm -hmm. You eat, dream, think, you know all those things? motorsport so I found out that I never tired from wanting to know more about motorsport mm -hmm. but at times when you're in a career you tire mm -hmm. you feel I just wake up to go to work yeah. and under salary and go home there's no drive in me it was the same for me because I was a marketer I'm a marketer by profession mm -hmm. and I found out that can't I market myself when doing what I love uh -huh. why don't I marry the two mm -hmm. instead of being in an eight to five job but I'm not really feeling it Mm -hmm. But here, whether it's Sunday, whether it's 3 in the morning, anytime I'm willing and able and wanting to learn more. Mm -hmm. So that was where now I transited mm -hmm. into the world of motorsport and decided this is it. And I want to build more and learn more about this and find out also how can I make a living from it. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you when you're in the sport, don't drop what you're doing. So I'm not advising people to just drop this and pick the other. You need to transit mm -hmm. from here, otherwise you'll go home and find you have no food. Mm -hmm. Transiting now means looking at this and how can it pay me? Mm -hmm. Because uh, just like you find golf and others, there, there's no pay. Sure. You just go play and go home. In fact, you spend. Mm -hmm. Motorsport is the same. You spend a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Now, what happens because you may ask me, Stella, but I don't even have the money. Yeah. I'll tell you, I didn't have a shilling. Mm -hmm. No, I too didn't have money. Mm -hmm. But passion can drive you to be able to draw people interested in what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And therein, then you have a shilling. Mm -hmm. So I looked for sponsorship. And uh, most times you find we'll approach the sponsors because what are we offering the sponsor? So there's what I'm offering you, mm -hmm. uh, branding, I'm, off I'm offering you uh, a platform where you get to be known by more people. Mm -hmm. What are they offering me in return? That which I love. They're sponsoring a sport that I love mm -hmm. and taking care of my needs. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a marriage of sorts also. So you got the sponsor and they got you the car. Yeah, the, the car, most times you'll find uh, the acquisition of a rally car is not the same way uh, the cars be seeing on the road. Oh. You need to meet some um, uh, requirements, mm -hmm. and those are being in the sport registered in a club. You must belong to a motorsport club. Mm -hmm. You must hold a license that is called a competitor's license. Mm -hmm. So you have your normal driving license to drive on the Kenyan roads. Then you go and 
acquire a competitor's license mm -hmm. from the federation. This mm -hmm. one now we get from the federation. Mm -hmm. Once you have that now, it means you qualify to bring in a rally car. Mm -hmm. So those were requirements that I had met. Mm -hmm. And now with the sponsor, I was able now to work my way to owning a rally car. Because the rally car is yours. The sponsor does not have that competition license. Uh -huh. It's you who has the competition license. Uh -huh. I know so a lot of people uh -huh. want to ask what kind of, of <laughs> car. <laughs> Of car that is, however, uh -huh. uh, before that, I'd love to know you're a family person. Yes. So the decision to like take up motorsport as a career definitely affects everyone in your family. Mm -hmm. So how do you then convince them that hey, this is what I want to be as much as it could be dangerous? Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you, it's never easy on the family front. Mm -hmm. the, you'll find, in fact, most resistance from the family front because mm -hmm. people want comfort zones. And that's what family, your parents, your spouse, your children, everyone is wondering, why are you taking us to this spot and where people think it's a dangerous spot? You're doing high speeds. So the buy-in doesn't come easy. That I wouldn't lie. It's your conviction and your confidence and you are you know making people feel comfortable that where i'm going to uh -huh. will still be comfortable i'm not going to rock the ship uh -huh. yeah you have to make them feel i am not just insane i just didn't wake up you know because they're looking at <laughs> you and wondering uh, what happened to you mm -hmm. yeah in fact at times they look at you like uh, we are not sure mm -hmm. but you have to also show them that where i am taking you i am not going to make things change in the home front so it was the same for me it wasn't easy. Uh, I'll speak about even my mom. She was like, are you sure? Do you have life insurance? You know, maybe you want to go and die and leave these young children. So those are the kind of thoughts that will go through family members' minds. Maybe you're suicidal at some point. Mm. You know, why are you wanting to move from a, a life of comfort mm -hmm. to a life where you're in the bundus driving at crazy speeds mm -hmm. and there may maybe wild animals there. Mm -hmm. But uh, they still did not, uh, they were not very harsh. Mm -hmm. They were like, if you are happy and you know it will balance the family, you go for it. Well, before we take a short break, mm -hmm. I know there's a, a person watching you out there and wondering if what's the secret to make them believe that this is what I want in life? Because a lot of people are stuck like, uh, between what they want and what the family wants. So yes. I want you to talk to that one person watching you. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you one thing, and uh, it is you who draws the crowds, your parents being there. It's that confidence, it's that convincing, and it's that living it. You must live it. Because as a parent, I'm only worried. I'm worried that when I let you go there, are you going to hack it? Are you going to be able to convince me as a parent? So one of the things I can advise someone who's transiting from one career to another, and especially where it's motorsport based, you really have to stay the course. You really have to prove yourself. Mm -hmm. It's not going to come in one day, but that consistency, that uh, confidence, that showing the parent, I really know that this is a decision, I got it. Mm -hmm. You have to stay there. Mm -hmm. They will be apprehensive, they will lean back, they will watch. That period of watching is a period that you convince them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I won't tell anybody that uh, walk away. And again, listen to them. They are your elders, especially where parents are involved, don't just say this is my life. Mm -hmm. No, carry people along with you in a respectable uh, way. Mm -hmm. Tell them, I know how you're feeling, but please give me this opportunity to just prove to you. Mm -hmm. Should it not work, I will go back to what I know. Right. So let people have a relief that uh, you are open to the choices and uh, whatever happens there. Mm -hmm. Then people will feel a sense of relief and mm -hmm. say, Fine, you go ahead, you'll have their blessings. Wow. Yes. So that thought takes us to a short commercial break. This is Let's Talk with Warimo in Morning Dew Show here at Dysac TV. Don't go too far, we are coming back. Ah, 
Hivyo ndivyo mambo yalivyokuwa. Mama alipogundua bintie anajifunza plant machinery operation. Lakini kwa sasa amejawa na tabasamu. Mwanzoni msichana wetu alipotuambia nataka kusoma mambo na matinga tinga. But the three city today we know better. Sure. County to County Plant Machinery and Driving School. Mabingo katika ufundishaji wa kuendesha magari na matinga tinga ya aina yote. Tumefunza kwa miaka mingi. Tumefunza watu wengi. Wengine wameajiriwa na wengine wamejiajiri. Utajijenga na tujenge taifa letu. Tupigie simu kupitia nambari ulizopewa au tutembele thika along Garissa Road. County to County Plant Machinery and Driving School. The Kenyan Way for Kenyans. Royal County College of Technology. We offer the following courses. Business Management, Accounting Packages, Social Work, Community Development, Secretarial Studies, ICT, ICDL, Computer Studies, among others. Visit our website at www.royalcountycollegeoftechnology.co.ke Call us on 07 992563570 or 0733756060 Email us via Royal County College of Technology at gmail.com Registration is ongoing Train with the best to become the best Royal County College of Technology Modeling Excellence So welcome to Junction View Estate. This is a project that is 100 meters off Moya Makutano Road. The project is ID for commercial as you can see. It is a few meters from uh, Makutano town. The plots have already title deeds. Again, the red soil is red soil. The size is 50 by 100. And the plots are only going, get this, they are only going for 1.2 million shillings. And I've just told you, the plots have already title deeds. So all you need is to come see, identify your plot, and then you proceed and transfer the title into your team. When you talk of deposit, come with as little as 50,000 Kenya shillings. You can make a deposit and acquire and own a plot with us. Thank you so much. You can also reach us on this number, 0700-048-048. You can also get to our office, Makutano office, just next to Fortune Circle. We also have another office at Keno Town. That's just adjusted opposite KCB as you head to Moranga Town. That's a few meters from County Supermarket as you head to Moranga. At Wickrad Property Company Limited, we partner with you in actualizing your dreams of owning a plot or a property for a better future. Thank you and welcome. Redlam ni dawa bora zaidi ya kuwa kunguni ina uwezo wa kuwa viwango vyote kutoka mayai hadi kunguni aliyekoma haina harufu wala mwasho na inaweza kutumika mahali popote Bedlam imedhinishwa na shirika la afya duniani WHO ipate kwa agrovet karibu nawe kwa maelezo zaidi tumia nambari zifuatazo With Verimo today we are talking about career and stigma. Well, <laughs> we've overtaken that yes. quite <laughs> in a way because your story is just as interesting to listen and quite I inspirational. So, b however, I'm still thinking about the stigma part where this is like a male-dominated thing. Do they harass you when you go out there? Uh, interestingly, and what I'll say is we found brotherhood. Mm -hmm. I think just like how you see even in the family setup, when a girl uh, becomes a tomboy, mm -hmm. she'll still find acceptance from the boys. Mm -hmm. The boys are like, okay, fine, you're a girl, but they, there's acceptance. One of the things I can say is we found a family that was willing to <coughs> accommodate us. The males in the spot, and maybe they were also curious. I guess, ah, yeah, maybe they were yes. coming us and curiously mm -hmm. wanting to see whatever has uh, lured you here. I'll say from the fans, everybody was... Uh, some, of, some people write you off. 
-hmm. what are you coming to do here? Mm -hmm. You have better things you can do at home. Mm -hmm. So it was mixed, but for those who are active in the sport, they welcomed us. Lots of jokes, and they were like, "Are ah, you ladies, and there you go for pedicures. Now you're expecting to change uh, uh, manicures, and you'll change punctures. Mm -hmm. So there was that, but there was a lot of help. Mm -hmm. If you need our help, ask us. Mm -hmm. So lots of tips we got about uh, what happens if the car breaks down when you're in the sections. Uh -huh. deep, uh -huh. So is there a first aid that you can uh, do? Mm -hmm. So one of the things I'll say, and here talking to uh, the girl child, mm -hmm. let me address the girl child. Mm -hmm. Because you find when we go to school, we are learning the same subjects. Yeah, sure. There are no subjects for girls and subjects for the boys. Mm -hmm. When we go through university, we are taking the same courses. We have uh, doctors, we have engineers, we have, you know, lawyers. So what's the difference then in this sport? Mm -hmm. Why the discrimination? But I'll say it's a societal thing. Because women and girls, they always say they don't uh, mesh. Mm -hmm. So we are also the ones who have also created that space. So I'm not good at this. I can't reverse. I can't because you've been uh, socialized to think that a car belongs to the man. Yeah. But if you look at it this way, nowadays a lot of our uh, ladies are driving. You take your children to school, you go to work, you mm -hmm. are farming, you are doing so much. So it's time now to embrace this. So my advice is to the girl child is it's not a competition that we have here. We have the equal opportunity. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I'll let them know in motorsport, we don't have like the way we have in other sports. If you look at volleyball, we have a ladies team and a man's team. Mm -hmm. If you go to even football, all the sports yeah, yeah, have sure. ladies. Motorsport does not have a ladies team. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. It is one team. It is one team. The one. same hardship that the guys are going through is the same that you will go. There is no like what we call in golf a handicap. Mm -hmm. Nothing. You start and finish the same and the results are the same. Mm -hmm. You have a puncture, your car is uh, overheating, you're in the sections, sort it. The, the, there are no light at penalties for the lady and Zia Palembele. No. Mm -hmm. that it's among the few spots that we have where you compete on an equal platform. That's motorsport for you. Mm -hmm. So it also calls for you to get better because when we look at young boys they are interested in gadgets mm -hmm. for the young girls possibly when we were growing up we were more kitchen dolls and all that so we are behind when it comes to the technology of cars but being behind does not mean you can't catch up mm -hmm. what you don't know what do I say go learn and come back mm -hmm. yeah if you didn't know some basics about your car go learn come back you're good mm -hmm. so and in normal days do you like uh, find yourself driving at the same speed like in the land have no. you ever crashed with kenyan police because of never speeding? and there's one thing i want to tell the audience mm -mm. is that if there are people who follow traffic rules it's rally drivers mm -hmm. and i'll give you the reason why <coughs> a rally car has safety measures put into it we have one, a roll cage. Uh -huh. If you have watched motorsport and a rally car yes. rolls, it doesn't crash because it has a safety roll cage. We also wear fireproof wear when we're in the car. We have fire extinguishers. We have so many safety measures in that car. The, the kind of suspension and tires we use is not your normal car. If you look at the belting up, we have a six point belting up. You and the seat are one. Look at our normal cars, it's just a black. Mm -hmm. So most rally people differentiate between this standard car, if I may call it our normal cars on the road, and a rally prepared car. You are more fearful than the person who doesn't know. Oh. So you will find one, we are very obedient to the traffic rules, and we don't speed. Again, I say, why am I speeding on the road? There's someone who learned how to drive and uh, have just bought their first car. There's someone who is very stressed from work. There's someone undergoing various, you know, there's someone who is high. They, they under substance abuse or alcohol and we're all on the same highway mm -hmm. but now in the sport they designate a place for us to go and rally mm -hmm. but on the highway you are meeting people who are not interested in the sport why would you go you know uh, driving and uh, making other people feel really uncomfortable on the highway you've never got the temptation like, to I've show people never like this gotten is the me. temptation i'll tell you even <laughs> when alcohol blow came uh -huh. i said i would never be caught up you know so I am a very obedient uh, nini, uh, tra tra road user. In fact, my friends ask me, I, from the way you're driving on the road, are you sure you are a rally driver? 
wow. because those are two different things mm -hmm. so differentiate and I'll talk to the people who are driving especially the Subaru guys mm -hmm. Subaru guys you know yourselves eh? please if you want to take part and you want to drive as fast go to designated areas uh -huh. do stop jeopardizing the lives of other Kenyans with the madness that we see on the roads nowadays mm -hmm. yeah where we see a sign the speed limit is 100 you're doing 160 why the person who put that sign there knew why it was good to have a speed limit mm -hmm. yeah so if we could obey the rules if we could join the sport if you really feel that you have a passion for the sport for high speed go do it elsewhere the other thing i always say do you have, have you ever seen a football match on tarmac mm -hmm. they go to there the stadium mm -hmm. and play there so why am i playing motorsport on a road that is not designated for that wow. ask yourself discipline. that <laughs> discipline discipline <laughs> discipline a lot of people i know want to know what is what is your larry car what kind of car is it uh now when i started rallying the subaru was the in thing subaru impreza mm -hmm. so even for me it was the car of choice mm -hmm. and it didn't let me down by the way mm -hmm. fine you don't finish all rallies but i'm saying in the kick it gave me I guess most people who know Subarus, there is also the, the yeah, noise yeah, of yeah. the Subaru. Now adding to that plus the speed, so I drove a Subaru Impreza. Mm -hmm. When I get back into the spot, I don't think Subaru will be the car of choice. Mm -hmm. It's been uh, overtaken, but there are more uh, sophisticated cars that are out there now. Mm -hmm. We have like the Toyota Yaris, we have the Hyundai, mm -hmm. we have the Ford Fiesta, we have the Skoda. We have the Evolution, Mitsubishi Evolution 10, so we are spoiled for choice. Mm -hmm. There are so many cars right now that are, are faster, are good, so I believe I'll go for a different car. Wow. Yeah. What is that one moment you remember and you are like, wow, this was the day for me? My greatest moment was Safari Rally 2010, mm -hmm. and uh, that was when we made history in Kenya uh -huh. by becoming the first indigenous ladies to ever finish the safari since inception in 1953 wow yeah so that was quite a moment that rally was very muddy <laughs> it, it was really muddy and let me tell you when you don't have lessons on how to drive in mud uh -huh. you're in the car and your heart is beating because you're swaying this way this way that way but when we got back to kicc that was the moment that we did it we did it. Mm -hmm. So that has remained one of my greatest moments till today. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the fear, the most fearful one, like you. I'll give you the most fearful <laughs> was uh, a rally in Nanyuki, uh -huh. and we were in a section that had elephants. Uh -huh. And that was the Lol Diger stage. Mm -hmm. And the car stalled, it was also muddy. Mm -hmm. So every time there was some, uh, something wrong with the electrical wiring, mm -hmm. every time we hit a mud hole, then the car stalled and stopped. After a few minutes, it would dry and would move on. So it's a rally we were struggling. And during one of those moments when the car had stalled, we could hear the elephants trumpeting. And they were just near. Wherever they were, they were near. I can tell you, I looked to know where would I hide. <laughs> can I go under? There's, you know, in the rally car now, we don't have the luxury of those, the space. Mm -hmm. And I asked the navigator, how many more kilometers do we have to go? And she says, 17. Meaning, we are right in the heart of the forest. It's not a place I can abandon the car and run. And we were both quiet. As soon as the car started, nobody listened to the other. It was flight. How do we get out of the, before the elephants find us? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that has been one of my greatest. What would I do if the elephant came? Mm -hmm. But when you get to the end again, you say, mm, that was adventurous, by the way. <laughs> wow. Let's talk about uh, government and support to the motorsport and especially to women in the motorsport. Is there support for you people from the government? Uh, what I would say right now is that there is goodwill. Mm -hmm. There is goodwill uh, and uh, kudos to the CS, uh, Dr. Amina Mohammed, because she has really taken motorsport uh, back to where it was. If you remember since 2002, mm -hmm. we only got to see the WRC, that's the World Rally Championship cars, back last year, yeah. 2021. Yes. And that took a lot of effort and goodwill from the government. So that's a step forward. Mm -hmm. Just having the International Rally back here in Kenya was one. For the women, I would like to say that we have a commission called Women in Motorsport. 
and women in motorsport is enjoying support from the federation we are also now uh, being able we are able to have a voice to engage the government mm -hmm. and to let them know that you can use this platform to expand uh, in areas they never considered before mm -hmm. yes uh, and Stella, will we be seeing Stella back in the library? I know you're on a break, sort of, sort of a break. So <laughs> yeah, I took a intention. sabbatical, <laughs> but I can tell you, very interesting, that uh, there's a conversation going on. Mm -hmm. If not before the end of this year, I can promise you that next year we'll be back in the spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, I have a conversation that uh, I have picked up mm -hmm. recently. A lot of people write to me and ask me, Stella, when? We are still waiting to see Warembo Bila makeup uh, yes. back kicking dust. Talk about that, Warembo Bila makeup. Warembo Bila makeup, yeah, and a lot of people wonder why Warembo Bila makeup. Yes, we know ladies. <laughs> so why Bila? Makeup? I'll tell you in my first rally. Now the first, remember the one I mentioned, mm -hmm. and uh, I was the only f lady uh, competitor on that day. So there was a lot of interest from the sponsors. Wow, we have a lady too. Ah. And one of the media houses followed me the whole day. They followed the progress, how we were doing, and we finished the rally. And they wanted to interview me. And you know, at the end of the rally, you are dusty. You know how you look like you've applied heat on your eyebrows and on your head. And now, you know, I'm a lady, I'm trying to tell the guy, you know something? Mm -hmm. Why don't you let me just jipodoa kidogo, then we have the interview. And he said, no. Vile Olivio bila makeup who come rembo so oh. who come rembo bila makeup mm -hmm. when i did the team it was warembo bila makeup oh. and it's something we saw it resonated well even when we went machinani mm -hmm. sure sure come rembo bila makeup mm. look at uh, all the tribes that we have met when we've rallied across the country mm -hmm. we are beautiful without makeup mm -hmm. and we decided by the way it works don't start thinking that makeup is the one that will take you places it's good we feel good when we apply makeup but you can still get the job done mm -hmm. without applying makeup. Mm -hmm. So that's how our Rainbow Bila makeup team came into being. And that's a rich point there. And I would love you to hammer it down to anyone watching us and thinking that uh, I have to look a certain way, I have to dress a certain way to achieve my goals or to be perceived yes. by community in a certain way for me to succeed. Yeah. And uh, it's when we let others judge us, it means we don't believe in ourselves. By the way, when you believe in yourself, it does not matter whether you are bald, whether you have makeup, whether you just have a simple t-shirt on. It's what you carry within you that is more important than what you're showing people. People actually can read what's within you. Even if you dress in the most expensive and you're in the most expensive makeup, if you are empty and you have nothing to share with others, they'll still be able to see through your smartness. So I'm not saying it's bad to dress well. Don't uh, you know, get me wrong. Mm -hmm. But remember, what you feed into your system, your inner, it glows out there. And mm -hmm. makeup is just an enhancer. Makeup is good. Even I, once in a while, will do the makeup. We are called for a wedding, for a what? Do the makeup. Glam yourself. But don't let it define you. Mm -hmm. Let what is in, uh, inside of you be the definer. That kind heart, that good gesture, those kind words, that which you're sharing with the community, with the youth, let it define you. Mm -hmm. You'll stop looking at what you're wearing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but when you are not speaking so much good, people now start defining you by how you're dressed. Mm -hmm. They say, you, you don't even know how to dress. Mm -hmm. Why are you dressed in things that are revealing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but at the end of the day, ladies, let us also dress appropriately. Let us, as much as we want to be in uh, fashion, let us portray to the world that we can be respected, mm -hmm. not through how we look, but how we speak and impact on society. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, we are winding up, and I know a lot of people would love to follow you up, just to know when you're going back to the Larry and follow you up through your journey. Yes. So tell them where they can find you or how they can reach out to you. Uh, and also those who are willing to sponsor. Yes. Uh, one of the things I would say, I'll start with the sponsors and tell them this, that sponsoring a ladies team is a mobile billboard for your brand. It will take you very far because people come out to see this uh, team competing in a male dominated sport. So it's a mobile billboard and the curiosity, we will take you far. One of the things that we can tell a potential sponsor is that with us, you will be able to achieve that which you have set for your brand. For the people who would want to know how will I get myself into the sport, 
you can find me on Facebook, Stella Mutahi on Facebook, uh, Warembo Bila Makeup on uh, Instagram. You can still, uh, I don't know if I can share a number. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind, I can share my number with them. My number is 0721 I'm willing and able to share with those who would want to be mentored into the motorsport. I will connect you to all the platforms that you need to learn as much as you need to. And welcome and let's grow the sport and especially you, the girl child. I'm waiting for you on the other side. <laughs> well, I know the boy child is complaining like, why aren't you talking to us? But anyway, anyone wishing to be mentored on motorsport, please hook up with her. Thank you so much for honoring the invite. We are humbled. So that's it for the day. I was with Stella Mutahi, a uh, motorsport Say motorsport or yeah, motorsport? yeah, or rally driver. Larry driver. Yeah. Let's just say it's Larry driver. And uh, we are excited. It's been a conversation. See you after this short commercial break. Good, Good morning. morning. Every morning as you set out for the day, we are right there with you. We bring you a review of your dailies as well as keeping you in touch with your current affairs. We discuss issues affecting us as well as entertain you as you set out for your day. So join me, Kelvin Mungai. And I, Wendy Mumugo. Every weekday from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Only on the Morning View Show here at Dysart TV, the cradle of goodness. Hivyo ndivyo mambo yalivyokuwa. Mama alipogundua bintie anajifunza plant machinery operation. Lakini kwa sasa amejawa na tabasamu. Mwanzoni msichana wetu alipotuambia nataka kusoma mambo na matinga tinga. But the three city today we know better. Sure. County to County Plant Machinery and Driving School. Mabingo katika ufundishaji wa kuendesha magari na matinga tinga ya aina yote. Tumefunza kwa miaka mingi. Tumefunza watu wengi. Wengine wameanjiriwa na wengine wamejiajiri. Utajijenga na tujenge taifa letu. Tupigie simu kupitia nambari ulizopewa au tutembele thika along Garissa Road. County to County Plant Machinery and Driving School. The Kenyan Way for Kenyans. Royal County College of Technology. We offer the following courses, business management, accounting packages, social work, community development, secretarial studies, ICT, ICDL, computer studies, among others. Visit our website at www.royalcountycollegeoftechnology.co.ke Call us on 07 992563570 or 0733756060 Email us via Royal County College of Technology at gmail.com Registration is ongoing Train with the best to become the best Royal County College of Technology Modeling Excellence So welcome to Junction View Estate. This is a project that is 100 meters off Moya Makutano Road. The project is ideal for commercial as you can see. It is a few meters from uh, Makutano town. The plots have already title deeds. Again, the red soil is red soil. The size is 50 by 100. And the plots are only going, get this, they are only going for 1.2 million shillings. And I've just told you, the plots have already title deeds. So all you need is to come see, identify your plot, and then you proceed and transfer the title into your team. When you talk of deposit, come with as little as 50,000 Kenya.
Nazali na kwambie hii kazi ni ya wanaume. Tuende nyumbani. Hapana mama, mimi nataka kujua kuendesha. Sasa kujua kuendesha. Ah, wewe wachana na kasheri. Sasa unaweza kasheri nini? Nakwambia makosa hii kazi ni ya wanaume. Wachana na wengine. Wachana na kasheri. Kasheri soma. Nini ni uelewi hapa? Welcome back. Thank you so much. Sorry for that technical hit. This is the morning dew show as we wind up here with Kelvin. I told you today is a beautiful Wednesday. Wednesday is all ladies day and uh, I feel so honored to have hosted uh, Madam Mutahi. Mm -hmm. She's a lovely driver and I've learned a lot, uh -huh. especially on decision making. Indeed. That one is perfect. Yeah. Do what you're passionate about, uh -huh. hammer it down, people will join you mm -hmm. if they see that clearly whatever you believe in, you're doing it right. They will join you. It is true. And uh, there are no boundaries as far as uh, gender and um, uh, careers are concerned. You know, basically, uh, she lives up to be the, a true representation of what a man can do, a woman can do too. So just checking up uh, some of your feedback, we have John Jugush following the Itawawa going in the corner. Uh, Gishomo Lydia Prince, all right. Uh -huh. We have Caroline Mashari, a good. Thank you, thank you so much. We cannot sample all your feedback because of time, of course. But we'll see you tomorrow, same place, same time. Tomorrow is going to be a big day as we dissect what happened in today's Sagana 3. So. Mm -hmm. Make sure you catch us tomorrow, same time, same place, the morning due show, 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Thank you so much for the team behind this broadcast, our director, Vicky, today. Thank you so much. Our camera person, uh, Justin Santisan. Indeed, and uh, my name is Kelvin Mongai, and I do wish you a happy, happy Wednesday. I'm Wairi Mumuga. Have a blessed day ahead. Ni ya wanaume. Tuwete nyumbani. Hapana, mami, nataka kujua kuende. Sheri! Sasa kujua kuende. Sasa kujua kuende. Ah, wewe, wachana na kasheri. Sasa unamisa kasheri nini? Nakwambia makosa hii kasi ni ya wanaume. Wachana na kasheri. Kasheri soma. Nini ni uwele wii hapa? Hapa, hata kasi za wanaume ni kama za wanawake. Hivo ndivyo mambo ya livokuwa. Mama lipogundua bintie, anajifunza plant machinery operation. Lakini kwa sasa, amejawa wanatema. are watching Dysak TV, the cradle of goodness. This is a story of some simple acts of kindness that happen in this tiny part of the world. Kindness can truly make a difference.
me. I'll be boss. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Dad. Is it still dark out? It is. You know I love you, right? I'm gonna start tying you up at night. I'll just untie the n knots. Yeah. Well, in 22 minutes and 34 seconds, we have to be walking out that door. Round it up to 25. I'm not sure if my boss would appreciate me being late. Dad? Yes. Does your boss love you? What? No. Um. <laughs> <laughs> You're just stalling. Come on. Up. Let's go. Let's go. Do you know where she's at? They're probably where you left them. How come you're not ready yet, Link? Did you at least eat your toast? I can't remember where I left it last. Could you please go find it? You've got to eat something. <laughs> come on. Not 7.35. It's too early. It's just a little early. A little uh, early? I have an important meeting today. What am I going to do until they open? Just go over there, sit down on the benches until they open the doors. Did you even hear me ring the doorbell? You usually use your own key. Well, if I remember right, you were the one that said, Mom, you need to respect my privacy. Do you remember that one? Like you've ever done that. <sighs> Why is it so stuffy in here? Please, open the door and let some air in. Didn't you like the meatloaf? Yeah, it was good. You don't have to cook me food, right? You know that. But listen, I need to talk to you. I'm gonna make us some coffee, and you and I, we're gonna have a chat. Sure, sure. I'm really concerned about you. A man your age should be married by now. You really need to stop blaming yourself and get out of this house. I do get out. I go to work every day. I mean get out of this house and get some fresh air. You know, I've been thinking about going camping, so... Camping is actually getting further away from people. I don't know why you care so much if I get married or not anyways. 
because I may not be around forever. Well, I've said my piece. Eat it while it's warm. Okay. me from that wretched box. Who was this giant looking down at me? All I knew was that he was kind, and that's all that mattered to me. office for pizza's sake. Good. I mean, I made an appointment while well, off. Oh, you've got a dog. Oh my gosh, you never said you were getting a dog. That's because it was odd how I, how I got him. Wait a minute. It's a he? Yeah, why? Because boy dogs pee everywhere. You didn't think about that? You'll never believe where I found him. Somebody threw him away in the alley. In the garbage. Can you believe that? Somebody actually threw that dog away? I cannot. That's the most horrible thing I've ever heard. That's what I thought. You know, one good thing about this dog is you sure are smiling, and I like that. But son, have you really thought this through? Puppies are a lot of work. I know. Artist. Stop it! 
And what are you going to do? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Why is your stuff all over the grass? I tripped and fell on it off. Fell out. You fell, are you okay? I'm fine. You don't have to pick me up from school anymore. I'm old enough to walk home by myself. I like picking you up from school. Look, I'm sorry I got caught up at work today. Come on. have a lot of energy, especially when they're left home all day. It's what we do. We chew stuff up. Scrappy! Oh the tough part about being a dog is you never know where you're going next. But to be totally honest, I had a feeling it wasn't a good place. Don't worry. Don't find you a good home. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Huh? What you doing? <laughs> okay, okay. You need to stay in one condition. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot about that dreaded cage. Okay. This is gonna be your new home while I'm at work. I hated that thing. Get used to it. But it's what humans do. They lock stuff up. A couple years went by and that cage got a whole lot smaller. 